these are 50 days old now. Um, this was pure biochar. Um, and the water just running onto the biochar, keeping it moist. Once again, cucumbers grown. That was planted exactly the same time as that. But we have one, one cucumber, pretty much as big as that. Also, it's about that long. Not bad. Um, spinach is setting quite well. They battle to balance and anchor themselves. The brinjal is doing well. Cauliflower not doing well at all. This now is cabbage and green pepper. And you can see by the green peppers, they're pretty sizable. That's 50 days. I've just planted new uh, spinach and uh, lettuce in here. But what I've done is I've added a little bit of ash to see how that's going to do here in this little area. This never had ash in before on the top here, but we're just going to try and do a little bit of a tester here. Yeah, the rest of the drums, um, these with the cucumbers again, they, they are setting little fruit. There's one cucumber there, not, not very big, but they are getting sizable. The beans, pretty big already. This was a mix of charcoal and sand. Um, so we were just testing that. I've got a lot of fresh spinach also growing in here. Um, and the peas at the back, definitely looking a lot better, more healthier. They've got flowers on them, not like those that don't really have much flower on them. So it looks like a little bit of sand in the mix. Not, not, a, bad, not a bad thing with biochar. And here we had biochar and coconut. What happened is everything at the back here just is, was struggling so much. Um, eventually took out a lot of the coconut and just replaced it with ash. Uh, we're going to try that now. There's no um, uh, cucumber forming. Um, there's only a couple of maybe very small ones on the flowers, but nothing like on these sets here. The brindle. Also still flowering, nothing much going there. The, the peppers, very small compared to the other side. Um, one thing that loves this is a coriander. So coriander with a biochar and coconut mix really worked well. And then right at the end here, we've got the brinjal again. As you can see these plants, this is just going absolutely berserk. This is a biochar and sand. And as you can see at the back, the spinach is really doing well. Um, there are some carrots in here, so we're waiting to see what they come out like. These brindles, this has done incredibly well. You can see the fruit sizing up there. Um, some of the fruit sizing up, that's pretty, pretty impressive. For this brindle, we've got some a carrot. A lot of spinach you can see is already huge. And we'll show you some of the others. Brindles are basically 90 days old. Um, we've got a lot of white fly on here, as you can see it's spinning off here. Still got flowers um, producing here, and we've got brinjals, pretty, pretty large coming off them. Um, I'm actually going to pull this plant out now because of the white fly, and we're going to show you the root system. As you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of white fly here, and um, this is only in biochar. So we show the root development in 90 days. Wow, yeah, that's quite hectic.
now 90 days old. It was planted in sand, biochar, a mixture, and has been on a circulating system. It's got a lot of brindles on it, but it's got a lot of white fly. So we're trying to get rid of the problem here in the whole garden. And the brindle seems to be the main culprit. It's, it's really attracting a huge amount of flies. So you'll see them buzzing off as I take this out. It's got a huge amount of flowers. Um, so I'll be losing this entire crop, uh, but it has been a test. So let me show you what, how it goes here and the root size. Yeah, it's quite a quite a massive lump of. Root system. That's that's what it came out like. So that's quite a huge root, and you'll see the amount of fruit that I've set on this. See them all underneath here, whole whack of them. Um, they're quite small. The first ones were very big. 